Hello, and uh, welcome back to the Ariel, where we have managed to get ourselves trapped in, well, in a trap. So, you know, that's what traps do. Uh, let's clear out some, ooh, those are some big ones. Ooh, three Fenris Beasts, huh? Uh, oh, I'm injured. I maybe should have uh, taken that into consideration. In that case... Let's actually take this seriously. Oh, Mage is low on energy too. Yeah, this is not a great start. Wait. Uh, oh, f oh, you. Oh, no, no, no. Please, no. I don't want to have my people all running away. At least my summons are all immune to fear, so if I just dump... This is actually kind of bad. Um... Ah, evasion! We're gonna try to keep them busy with as many, um... with as many minions as possible so that they don't do those things to us. So we don't want to be running away in fear. I wonder if you can charm more than one enemy at a time. Oh. Critical on my skeleton. That was you, right? Yep, get another minion going. Oh, bleeding wasn't enough. Okay, one down. Let's take out these Fenris Beasts. Well, we're here, I guess. stack of bleeding, okay. It's something. Uh, not too injured, well... Oh shoot, that was a misclick. I was, like, I was debating between using a potion. Oh no, it wasn't a misclick. Ah, the misclick was moving here because I thought that was a wolf tile. I misread. Misread the graphic. It has a base. Um, hello. Okay, well, it's one down. Oh, shoot. Again, I shouldn't... Move slower. Move slower. The charm palette swap makes the wolf look like a Fenris beast. That's unfortunate. Probably should have hit all three, honestly. It would have hit the construct too, but that's fine. Glad that charm worked. Ooh. And it's off, okay. One, two... Uh, oh, that was... You'd think I'd know how many action points that was by now? Four, okay. Oh, that doesn't actually hit them both. Well, we'll do it this way then. Those two. Okay. We 
did it. We didn't get any of the nasty fear debuffs. Do you have the summon skeleton ability? You do. Apparently minion spam is the way to go. Not quite. Surging horror, control horror. That doesn't sound good. Bunch of debuffs, but I think we're okay. Okay, I guess the haste already wore off on our priest. Okay. Turn down. As long as they're spending all of their actions doing debuffs on my minions, I think we're in a good spot. Is there a minion down here that hasn't had a turn yet? Ooh, nice hit. This thing down here not had a not had an action yet, I don't think. Should have probably gone for the control instead of the scourging, but could do another haste. Oh, that's your summon. Okay. Maybe we don't need another haste. I think we're good. Put down another minion to keep these guys busy. Probably should have. But I didn't. So that doesn't hit everybody. Yeah, now we're slowed. I 
Makes a pretty big difference. Looks like we got through it though. Might as well use the last healing potion. Oh. Weakness. One plus half your level. Wait. The higher your level is, the worse weakness affects you? I guess presumably your level is giving you a damage bonus to begin with, so it probably balances out. What does it say for slow then? 40% fewer turns. Okay, got it. Uh, healing. You're out of range, okay. Let's fix that. Might as well drink these potions. Uh, we'll keep one extra energy potion just in case. Here we have Rigid Slimes and Giant Slimes. Okay. Fight number three. Great start. Uh, I don't like the fact that one of these is... One over that way. Right. Seems like an awful lot of evading going on here. It always is. Vulnerable resisted. I think I can hold off one return before I do a heal. Let's just take this thing out first. Ah, oh, come on. That was a mistake. I should have, um... Nice. I should have done an AoE. And that's the last of our energy. Oh no, we have quite a bit still. What am I trying to kill? I guess we'll go for this one first. Uh. Goodbye, wizard energy.
think we got things under control now. How much poison have you got? Two doses, it's fine. I think the giant slimes are actually more annoying than the frigid slimes. Did you just gain haste from being attacked by this thing? Or was it your blessing wearing off and then this moving around? That's, that's more likely. So is this the last fight here? We had three large fights in a row. And by large fights, I mean fights against large sized creatures. Come on. There we go. Is there a way out of this? Does not appear to be. Uh oh. A fight against drakes? That is drakes, basilisks, something like that. I suppose I can use that right now. No. Uh, three drakes and a rock drake. Yeah, that gets you up to four. Let's see how long this thing lasts. We seem to be doing okay. Knock back. Of course, they've got a bunch of breath type attacks, so we want to spread out and also. Give them lots of targets so they can shoot their breath attacks not on not at my party. Just block block that Drake a little bit. Here we go, four summons. I think this is the first time I've done it. And that's one down. Uh, if they're gonna knock me away from them, I'm okay with that. Ooh, double action, that's not very nice. You are a palette swap and you have an, an adjective in front of you. That makes you automatically stronger, right? That's how it works. Uh... 
Uh, might just mean that you have different abilities, though. Keep all the meat shields up. Feel like you're gonna get an action soon. Hope I can kill you before that happens. Excellent. Blind? Skeletons aren't immune to that? I do find it kind of funny how all of your summons in this game just are immune to all of these different status effects because they mean you have Construct and Skeleton. I mean, I guess you could have um, a, an item or something that lets you summon a slime. I've seen one of those. But with the default spells, it's like all your basic summons are just immune to... They're immune to bleed, they're immune to poison, they're immune to charm, they're immune to fear. Kind of kind of nice. No. There's something with rock in the uh, title. I was expecting you to be a little bit more durable. Bleeding immune. You don't seem to have particular resistance to physical attacks. You don't seem to have all that much health. Maybe a little bit more than a regular drake, but... Really not that bad. Alright. Uh, just in case, Get heal off. Okay, we've made it to this place. You find a stone circle. It's very remote, though you can catch glimpses of the sea through breaks in the woods. When you get close, you feel a deep unease. Something is wrong here. Well, as we can also see from this mini map, I am sealed in here, so I don't have any choice but to do this, I think. You enter the circle, you feel a deep, unexplainable terror. It's just a ring of stones overgrown with ivy, but something is wrong here. In the center of the circle, you find a stone. It's covered with brown stains. There's nothing else here. Get closer to the stone. Uh, you take a close look. There's nothing unusual. No bones, no treasure, just bloodstains. However, when you are close, you feel a deep, malevolent energy. It is a relief when you back away. You are very happy to leave the circle. When you do, the woods seem much calmer. Nothing is stalking you. A salty breeze comes in from the water. You even get a little sunlight. Okay, and I see something opened up on the map. Okay, well, we did a thing. Hmm. I guess I could have probably teleported out of here using fast travel from the map at any time, and I might have actually sealed myself out of that place, unless the game was scripted to handle that. Let's get all our potions back. Uh, did I have a quest for that? No. I didn't have a quest, I was just exploring. Hold on. There's a stone circle by the coast of the southeast. It seems to be defended by a huge ring of enchanted forest. Uh, okay, this was Fort Mist. Okay, which is where I just was, right? Yeah. I visited that stone circle. You tell Edmund about your journey to the circle and all that pestered you on the way. Then you describe the circle. So there's great power there. What has it been harnessed for? I have no idea. I see. A stone, circle uh, a stone circle channeling power up out of the underworld. Another mystery, which is sure to have more mysteries behind that. Thank you, Prince. I'll write up our findings and send them back to Haven. I know the Queen and Princess Delia will be very pleased with their efforts. Uh, what are you researching now? The Earth. It seems like the Ariel are drawing power from deep in the soil. It is a difficult thing to study, but I am sure I'll find a way to examine the source of their power. Uh, difficult why? Because since you visited their stone circle, the woods around Fort Mist have been more active. The trees are growing noticeably faster. We have all been distracted by finding ways to keep the woods at bay. Okay. Well, I mean, I'll take the experience. That's nice. Ah. Uh, okay. If 
Have I explored up here yet? I have completely... I'm sure I don't have any outstanding quests. I don't think I do. Okay, so I've completely explored everything uh, except for this, and I've explored that section now. So I just have that and this left, I guess. Let's go to let's go to Hyle Hobo. Even nights are uh, readying themselves for work at Fort Mist. Have you guys not? If the fort's been up for a while. You can go. Mm. Okay, it looks like I have not crossed this river. Roll of aerial guards watching this road. As they pass you, they nod and smile. They seem very friendly, but they don't even break stride to talk to you. People standing perfectly still. How odd. These aerial are wielding machetes. Oh, okay. They're fighting the forest. They use them against the massive thicket, which is constantly trying to expand beyond its bounds. Their arms and faces are covered with painful scratches, wounds received from this insidious wall of thorns. They are understandably irritable and not in the mood for talk. You nod and keep walking. The family of aerial farmers gives you the standard greeting. Great friendliness, lots of chat, the offer of an excellent meal and fine wine, light conversation about nothing of importance. You thank them and move on. Whether they care for Haven or not, there's no reason to fight or mislead you. They trust the forest to kill you for them. Yep, that's how it is. Hello, slimes. Your way is blocked by a huge blob of slime that senses you and starts to walk, uh, starts to stalk you very slowly. It would be easy to evade. However, you think you can see large objects suspended in its gooey bulk. You approach the slimes with slow care and tactical analysis. They slide towards you very slowly. Okay, we fought these on the other side of the river. Same deal. Uh, you get bored, move closer. They keep sliding. Finally, you discharge them. Uh, three frigid slimes. Okay, well, we just did something harder than this. Probably... Don't even need any minions on this one. But... Oh, these also seem... Ooh. To have less health? Or am I just imagining that? And more damage. I don't remember them taking out my constructs that quickly. Okay, one down. Oops, move too far. Interesting that these slimes don't even move. What am, I gonna, what am I gonna get for this? A handful of coins, effectively? Maybe, you know, a piece of iron would be nice. I'd be happy with that as a prize. I mean, honestly, it doesn't matter if it's nothing, that's fine too. Just get it off the map so I don't have to deal with it ever again. My uh, sense of completionism would be satisfied with that alone. But it would be nice to get. You know, something a little bit extra. You did tease it with the description, after all. Okay. Slimes finally fall apart. You grab a long stick and poke around inside the goo looking for treasure. You're surprised to find several pieces of jewelry. Okay, so money. Uh, how did they get these? Uh, how did these get here? Anyway, they're worth good money. Oh. More than I was expecting. Right, and that's that, okay. Yeah, okay, so that was just from here. It just happened to cross the bridge, I guess. Oh, this looks very deliberately planted here. You find a gap through this massive thorny thicket, unlike the paths you fought through earlier. This one is nice. It contains a series of farms, carefully tended crops, and beautiful old farmhouses. You were in the wealthiest, most civilized region of the Ariel Woods. Maybe you are safe from ambushes now. Hmm. Safe maybe from ambushes from the 
forest, but probably not from the Ariel themselves, given what's going to be going on. Uh, let's just take a quick peek down here. Okay, resources guarded by spiders. Something to keep in mind for later. Hello, people. You're avoiding me. Why? See a group of young Ariel warriors. They are blessed from wealthy families. They have light leather armor and blades of glowing light, enabling them to move fast and attack with vicious effectiveness. Normally, they could effortlessly find their way through these dark woods. This group seems lost. You watch, they watch you from the far end of the dark path, and they don't seem hostile. They greet you with the haughty arrogance of the Ariel. Then they realize you are a Havenite. They left their families to sign on with Haven's army. This is very common in Basel states. Haven pays very well and provides ex excellent training. Even the Ariel admit that Haven has much to offer. Yep, give them directions to a fort. Done this before. Uh, fortunately, you've rebuilt one of Haven's forts, or fortresses in the Ariel woods. You give the warriors directions and march off in the correct direction. Your battalions are strong, but Haven is never able to control a Basel state without recruiting warriors that already live there. Yeah. Okay, we got that. Don't know if I actually benefit from doing that, but it's uh, a thing that I have done. All right. And this uh, wall of trees here, ensures that I can only enter through here. A breeze carries to you the smell of flowers and fresh mown hay. Yes, this region has the renowned peace and tranquility of the aerial woods. After your long journey, it is nice to relax and completely let down your... No, no, no. We're not, we're not completely letting down our guard. What is this? Do not trust. Do not trust. Brandon's break. We found a passage through the third and final thorny barrier in the aerial woods. It is a beautiful break in the thicket, a lush stretch of green farmland and old dignified farmhouses. Aerial laborers sweat in the fields all around you. When you look direct, when you look directly at them, they nod in greeting. Then they try to ignore you. Ruthie, oh, there she is. A young aerial woman runs out of her farmhouse to greet you. You're here. You are the Havenite, aren't you? I am Ruthie. Welcome to Brandon's Break. Heard you would be coming. You've gotten warm, friendly receptions like this all throughout the aerial woods, yet something is different here. Ruthie is nervous. Her gaze keeps darting to the road and the woods. Tell me about this place. Brandon's break is the passage through the El Hovo thicket. Where you are. It's a bit of beautiful lush land. It marks the gateway to the high El Hovo. We have kept it beautiful so visitors can see the glory of the aerial woods before they see the heart of the forest. What few visitors we get. How long these farms from here? Centuries or more. This is the heart of our woods. It has fed and protected us for all our history. Don't get many travelers now? Well, I mean, you've kind of let the rest of the pro of the uh, of the country just kind of go to the weeds. I've been having to fix absolutely every problem because your leaders have been incompetent and unwilling to do anything. Uh, no, it was difficult when I, I was different when I was little. So many traders and travelers and performers came through. Things were so much more lively when Haven was here. Well, we will do what we can for you. Do you want travelers to return? Uh, she's unsure how to respond. I will wait to see what High Hova says. I will not question the blessed. It is not my place. I do miss that time, though, before they all left. We have so much to show you. Where did the travelers go? Back to the Vol and the Ukat and Haven. When we were a vassal, Haven forced the roads open. Everyone traveled everywhere. Everyone came to High Hova to see the glories of the Ariel. Less now. What do you want to show us? We Ariel have worked for centuries to make a better life. More beautiful, more pleasant, more wise, safe and patient. We see it as our duty to share what we have learned with others. Haven made that easier. I want you to know I said that. All right, so you're brown nosing. That's fine. Uh, I need a meal and a place to sleep. She takes her head and casts another nervous glance at the woods. I'm sorry, this is a humble farm. I know that High Hovo will offer much to you. It is a short distance to the south. Is this road dangerous? Ah, it... These woods are the aerial woods. We are part of the great thickets. The magic's strong here. It can be unpredictable. The trees can move. Please don't blame us. We're simple folk. We don't control it. Who does control it? The plant workers. Blessed wizards. They're the ones who talk to the forest. Command it, especially near High Hovo. Are you ever threatened? The woods are huge and full of magic. Sometimes the trees get their own ideas. I would never dare criticize the blessed, but sometimes they can lose control. Do the blessed help when that happens? Yes, eventually, in their own way. We never are left to suffer for too long. All right. So this is going to be a dungeon map of sorts. I doubt I'll just be able to walk through here safely. Ooh, free wood. I'll take that, thank you. As I help myself to these farmer's things. Can't help it, I'm a PC, it's what I do. All right. More wood. 
I guess I've seen inventory. Where's there it is. Twenty nine, okay, yeah, fifty is the maximum, so grabbing that. Oh. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. It wasn't going to be that easy. With a creaking, crunchy sound, the forest moves. As you watch an alarm, a wall of trees shoots out of the ground in front of you. Vines fall them out of the earth, weaving themselves among the trees to make an impassable barrier. It is actually quite glorious to watch. It is a unique and powerful bit of magic. Quite amazing, really. Also, extremely inconvenient. The farmers behind you continue their work, pretending that nothing has happened. Well, we're going to be on a detour. We're going to have to fight some things. Yep. Probably. Maybe we'll just get a bunch of dialogue and lore and no combat whatsoever. That would be a nice change of pace. Uh, you find it an old ruin. It is an enormous aerial tower lost in the walking forest. It is quite old, but their, their woodwork has survived the elements surprisingly well. There is one pair of tracks in the moist ground. A human has walked into the tower recently. Oh, wow. It's a big wooden building. All right. Skeleton popped up behind us. Okay. Ooh. Uh, stun didn't work. That's not good. too sturdy. Took you out. Oh. Statue. Oh no, there's a pillar behind the statue. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, oh, we actually send you. Excellent. Stunt and slowed. Yeah, you're not going to get an action before you go down. So we did get a dungeon after all. That was a really heavy hit. Okay, good. Yeah, these ones aren't too sturdy, but they hit really hard. As you'd expect of somebody with a magical two-handed weapon and new armor.
Alright, well they're both stunned. Which is good for me. Should be able to finish it off before it gets in action, especially since it's slowed now. Excellent. Take the money. Now, I wasn't particularly uh, expecting to fight skeletons here, but that's fine. It's a nice change of pace, I suppose, from all of the random woods creatures. The only problem with fighting skeletons is that they're something I can fight in any of the three provinces, whereas these woods creatures probably won't be appearing in the other two. Provinces, countries, nations, whatever I should be calling these places. Uh, there are several shades waiting for you in this old audience hall. Uh, you draw your weapon, expecting another ambush. Then they ri rise and turn. They are all identical. They are your sister, Delia. Obviously they aren't her. There are too many of them. The size is wrong. The way they move is wrong. Yet, someone intentionally gave them your sister's appearance to upset you. As they swoop towards you, you find that it is working. Okay. Interesting. Um, can these be stunned? Uh, oh, there's more of them. Okay. Answer appears to be yes. Fusion, huh? Probably can't bleed. But if they're going to be doing... bunch of um, random status effects or whatever, we'd like to get rid of them as quickly as possible. Uh, confusion, okay. Oh, my sister has a deep voice, apparently. I don't know, it's generic. Shade. Uh, I'm not even bothering to bless here. Is that... Bad play. <sighs> it might be. I think I've got it, though. Ah. Radiance so removed a negative effect. Nice. Okay, there we go. Finally got some hits. Uh, whoops, you're not my melee character. I just assumed it would be somebody else for some reason. Floor three. Up we go. Icy shade times two. Plus a banshee. And they got the drop on us. Save the energy in our fighters for something a little bit more serious. Mm. 
Ooh. Nah, no, let's do that. Macy Shades are a spiderweb staple for sure. Fear immune. There we go. Uh, Quicksilver. Money. Plus 10 maximum health. I will never use that. Squirrel of Life. I will also never use that. Get over here, guys. Uh, that's what I thought. That's starting to get a bit iffy. <sighs> Let's just heal. These are basically gone, so there's no point in staying in combat mode. Just try to milk those for as long as you can. Might as well get my energy back. Money, money, money. Aerial Crystal Blade, tier 3 Arcane. Hold on. Damage is comparable to what I have. Also, 50% chance to slow and is magical. Well, that's a really good weapon. Uh, however, oh, next level. I take raw power and then I can use uh, tier 3 arcane items. Okay. I'm also wondering if I should be getting this guy. Um, well, probably fine. Just getting him up to magic, high level magic, so that he can use a, a magical attack instead of a bow, just for the damage variety. But I think I'm fine with only having one person doing magic damage and three people doing physical. And this was the Crumbling Fort's ballroom. The tiles are moldy and uneven, and dry bones are scattered everywhere. At first, only dust hangs in the air. Then figures appear, pairs of dancing men. They do a quick turn to inaudible music. Then they turn to look at you. Each of them has your brother Sutter's face, of course. With a look of disdain, you find all too realistic. They draw their spectral blades and swoop toward you. And there's more of them, of course there is. Okay, that's actually kind of a bad thing. Wow. there doing that kind of stuff huh good enough oh there we go that was a much better hit
Ooh, 100 damage. It's a lot better than zero damage. Um, that's fine. A little bit annoying that it does damage, I guess, as well, but it's fine. Wait, you get two actions in a row, and you do that much damage? That doesn't seem fair. Ah, stun resisted. That was a preventative move, I was trying to protect it, protect my main character from getting offed here. Okay, good. Damage is spread out. Uh, out of healing potions on my main character. Given how much damage they do, I kind of need to keep his health topped up. There we go. Yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. Two hits like that. And if they're both crits, I just go down. That uh, probably should have been a heal. Fine, though. We have a bench there. Ah, actually, while we're here... Uh, G for inventory. Again. Oh no, back down now. Okay. So I guess that's the top. Uh, is there going to be a mage here or something? A construct. Okay, there is a construct here. Good start. Should be able to take this down pretty quickly. Good. Oh, it's not even a door that can open, it's just a... just a rotting door, I guess. You knew it was coming, but that doesn't make it any easier. The gates to the north and south open, and a procession of, s of shades come in. They all look like your mother, sort of. The bodies and faces, the faces, the air of power and confidence, all wrong. You find yourself growing furious. That someone would play with you like this in such a clumsy, contemptuous way. It would enrage your mother, and it enrages you. And it's going to be coming in from both directions, right? Well. Okay, I have to actually be in combat mode for that, apparently. I was going to summon it here. Uh, it's just going to be obnoxious. Remind. How many? Six? Maybe three on each side, two on each side. If it's something that's capable of here. Uh, oh. 
Wait. Couldn't see around that corner. It's only capable of fear. Probably won't be that many of them. At the same time, they do go down pretty quick. Oh, there's another one. Okay, maybe eight then. I imagine it's going to be the same number on each side. Take this one out from a distance, if possible. This should be the last one. Hopefully. They're going to spend most of their actions trying to do mental effects on my minions. That's fine with me. Wait. Why would you do that? You weren't charmed or scared. I think you're immune to both of those statuses. Fear on the priest, huh? Oh. And it just wore off thanks to Radiance, I think, or what? Or maybe it was thanks to her passive. Should be the last uh, the last of these fights. There might be one more fight against like a final boss or something. But I think I'm basically done. Yeah, okay, we basically took no damage in that fight. Okay, um, oh, I was interrupted before I hit this. Yeah. Now scroll of calling, summons a construct, cool. Money, money, money. Plus two to physical armor, plus one to shield ally and one empty slot. really see myself ever using that. It's not good to have it, I guess. Okay, we're done with that place. Boris did something. You stumble out of the living forest and back into reality. You're back among the farms. 
armors don't seem to notice your emergency. They barely look at you at all. You've survived another assassination attempt. Things are starting to become vexing. You found no sign of who is responsible for this outrage. On the bright side, you will be able to pass through here safely now. All right. Uh, Ruthie speaks for us. Well, I've already talked to her. Okay, yeah, that's been cleared. Brennan's break. Uh, we'll talk to Ruthie real quick here. Your force just tried to kill me. Her calm demeanor breaks. She is terrified. I'm so sorry, Havenite. We saw what happened, and we can't do anything about it. The trees walk, but they don't listen to my kind. I swear it. Then who's responsible? I don't know. A plant worker? An angry blast? A stray bit of raw wild magic? I don't know. Please believe me and move on. Uh, I believe you, however, I will find whoever is responsible. I will kill them. Ruthie takes a step back, terrified. Thank you for your mercy, Havenite. If you want answers, Heil Hovo is south. That's where rulers meet. Excuse me. The trees are gone, so we have to repair the road. She walks off. I think I've had enough of this nonsense. These people are... are just defending their homes from people who are coming to enslave them. But still. Or to, um... And vassal them? There, there, there's a verb for that, right? I can't do that. It wasn't our fault. Oh, you're not looking. You're not looking. Like, I'm already at 50. There's literally no point in grabbing that. Oh well. It was petty, but I did it. Now entering the aerial woods. And with that, presumably, uh, we can get to uh, High El Hovo. That O'Brien's Break is a place. Okay, well, in that case, get our health, get our, get our energy, get our potions back, and we'll go back to Brandon's Break and continue through to High El Hovo next time. I will see you then.